It's truly amazing That spirit of Christmas Vlogmas. I am about to start getting to work today. Today I'm dyeing up a random, one-of-a-kind, whimsy skein of yarn for the fingerless mittens that I will be knitting for Aid OD. She wants them quite deep, rich, jewel-toned, pinks, purples, blues, and I am making just that. I am dyeing her yarn up on a DK weight Stellina yarn, which I've never dyed up before. I have dyed up a few skeins trying to dye up yarn for her fingerless mittens. They did not turn out how I hoped. <laughs> so anyway, this one looks extremely promising. I cannot wait to see the way it looks when it's dried because that's when all of the magic happens or doesn't. And um, I think this is going to be it. I think this is going to be the ones that she loves. I also have DK weight yarn for the shop. So I am in Stellina, which I've never had before. But because Elodie was so in love with it, I thought there have got to be other people who would love a DK weight Stellina yarn. Usually when I get up in the morning, I make a tasty coffee or a cappuccino and spend a bit of time with the girls. But now that both of the girls are off to Kita, it's time for me to start my work day. I usually start that by turning all of the pots on in the studio and checking my emails. Usually I tie my yarn. Um, you can see it all here, a hundred skeins um, for just the beginning of the day to prepare, you know, for the dyeing day. Sometimes I dye more than that, but usually that's about what I dye each day. And um, yeah, so I'm about to start my day with uh, soaking the yarn and getting them in the pots and deciding what colorways I'm going to dye. Lately, I've been quite sporadic with what I've been dyeing, which has been a lot of fun. I've been doing a lot of whimsy colorways, which are those colorways that just happen on a whim. They're quite whimsical, fun, pretty, um, and they're just very inspired skeins of yarn. And they're one of a kind ones that I won't dye again. Today, however, I am finishing up a wholesale order for my sister knits in Colorado. <music> happy because I finished all four pairs of leg warmers for the girls. I think they turned out absolutely beautiful. So now I am about to My two bins from yesterday are empty, so let's take a look at what I dyed up. We have Puddle Jumper, You Cook, I'll Sing, which I've revamped quite a bit. Heart-shaped box, 
some more of both of those. And then over here we have warm and toasty. The half blood prints. And then a new colorway, which I am very in love with. There are so many pretty tones and depths to it. In my last podcast episode, I mentioned how on December 1st, I want to cast on my Christmas at Hogwarts socks. So this is just a yarn that I dyed up this year for a special Harry Potter Christmassy themed yarn. One of a kind. It's something that I'm going to be doing every single year. Same yarn name, Christmas at Hogwarts, different colorway. I have this in my fantastic little bobbins Harry Potter bag. coffee. I decided to have a cappuccino. I'm going to enjoy some of that chocolate that Jilly sent me. I have a huge box of bookworm that needs to be hung. I have a bunch of it's okay to be alone soaking. And I have quite a bit of it to pop into this basket for hanging. Dinner tonight is very simple, very delicious. Tomato sauce, pesto, and Has all meals must include sriracha. Robert's at soccer and the girls are asleep. He should be here quite soon actually in about within the hour and um, I am just sitting on the sofa and I am knitting on the shawl that I'm knitting for my sister, the road trip shawl. Enjoying it. The rows are getting very long though. I'm at about 350 and I get to about 500 by the end. Might even be more than that. But anyway, it's quite a large, hefty, big shawl. And um, yeah, so I'm just enjoying drinking some water because I did not drink enough today. Oh, and Ruby put her bracelet on me. <laughs> and I am watching uh, Gilmore Girls, the new season. I can't remember what it's called. Um, I think there are just four episodes, so I haven't watched it yet. So I'm enjoying episode number two.